Hi, I'm Kevin Friedland. I'm a fisheries oceanographer here at the Narragansett Laboratory, which is part of the Northeast Fisheries Science Center. Here to talk about a new publication that has just come out that deals with changes in thermal properties of the Northeast Shelf related to what's been occurring at the lower trophic levels, which are the base of the food chain, the small animals and plants that are in the water column, and what we believe it is, uh, has been an impact on Atlantic cod in the same area. And what we found is that as the shelf has been warming in recent years, there's been an increase logically of the warmest thermal habitat and a decline in the cool water habitats. But the surprise to all this has been um, a lack of decline or, or steady state of the coldest water thermal habitats. They've remained relatively unchanged. So you scan through these figures there for January, February, through the course of the t entire year and ending up in December. And the red tones indicate where there's been a positive trend or a, a trend of increasing temperature. And the blue tones indicate there's been a declining trend in temperature spatially. And you can follow the trace of the northeast um, coastline. And just keep in mind that the northeast shelf is the region that I'm indicating with my finger out onto Georgia's bank into the Gulf of Maine. These are spatially discrete areas where we've actually seen cooling during this period. And we attribute this to increased flow of the Labrador current. A number of authors have, have described how increased ice melt over the last couple decades has intensified this fresher, cooler water flow. And we've actually seen it downstream all the way down into the Northeast Shelf. And it's been associated with a number of different changes to the ecosystem. So part of that overall scenario that we've analyzed is to look at the most important zooplankton species. And what we've noticed is that a key species of zooplankton, which are these small little invertebrates that are utilized by fish, is a species called Pseudocalamus. And it's very important to cod. When we look at their trends shelf-wide, we've seen a decline in spatially discrete areas. And we can show this by looking at two maps um, from two different time periods. So for this first map of Pseudocalamus abundance from 1982 to 1986, you can see that Pseudocalinus, as indicated by the darker tones, uh, was relatively in high abundance in the Mid-Atlantic Bight into southern New England and also out onto Georgia's Bank. And though not as high, still in some level of abundance in the uh, Gulf of Maine area. We fast forward a number of years to 2005 to 2009. This, this second depiction shows that Pseudocalinus has now declined in abundance in the Mid-Atlantic Bight has remained relatively high abundance in southern New England into Mass Bay, but has declined on Georgia's bank and is virtually absent from the Gulf of Maine area. The jump to cod, or the, the linkage to cod, um, can be seen in this companion figure. We show here historical distributions of cod, where cod was very abundant all through Georgia's bank and all through the Gulf of Maine. Again, this is the period 68 through 80. If we look at the most recent period, 2007 to 2011, we see very low abundances out on Georgia's Bank, virtually absent in eastern Gulf of Maine, and still in high abundances in Nantucket Shoals and Mass Bay. And the, the association we would, would draw spatially is that it's the areas where Pseudocalinus has declined have been also areas where cod has not been doing as well. So, you know, the analysis that we've been talking about has been, was uh, one that, you know, we focused on the period 1997 to 2011. But in 2012, the Northeast Shelf went through a tremendous increase in temperature. Temperatures were the highest ever recorded. This dramatic change in temperature would suggest that additional impacts may be occurring to both the fish populations, but then also the food webs in themselves. So it's an area that we have to continue to monitor and study.